Hey, it's another day again. I'm still, I'm still trying to hold on. No, I still feel a lot of pain emotionally, and I, I just wish some people out there would reach out to me as I'm trying to reach out to others to to have communication in my life so when I'm stressed and depressed I really want to talk about my feelings and everything and it helps me when I have someone to talk with It still goes through my mind and you know, I still can't believe this has happened and, and she's she's gone and I keep th thinking how could she not still be alive when she should have still been alive Today's my last day staying in this motel, so I don't know what's going to be next to do after today. I've tried and tried to find a place, but Nothing's, nothing's not working out. I even checked things on Craigslist, but I can't find anything that's going to be in my budget right now. All I can come up with just um, rent. I can't come up with extra money for deposit and and other stuff. I still gotta pay for things with funeral plans, and I gotta pay for documents that I need. And I mean, this is this is a lot on me. I mean. She didn't have no life insurance. And I'm trying to get myself a life insurance. But it's hard to sh sh struggle with only seven seventy one a month to pay out all, all these things in life. I, I still got it insurance to pay, storage to pay, uh, and I say I gotta pay the shop owner each month. I mean, I'm glad he's let me do payment, and, and I have been, I've showed him that I keep my word. Because at times that I've had things fixed on it and I've been paying back because I'm, I'm not that kind of person for one thing I always keep my word and, and him and his son and employees have been really good to us they treat us Pretty much like 
family. And I, you know, good, good friends. They've gone out of their way to do things for us and still do. And I really appreciate all of them for what they have done. And I'm going to do what it takes to give back for what they they have done for for us and if it wasn't for me to take my van to them I don't know what or where we would have been at or what would happen to us but I, we always could, could trust them. They, they've always been truthful. And like a, a lot of these other places I've been to, that would just try to rip me off and tell me I need things that I don't need to have done. So I'm glad I'd never uh relied on those other places and took my van to Diddy's. They know what they're doing in the right way. And I'm so glad to ha have have them to take care of my van. Yes, um, I, I still feel like I, you know, to, to break down and I'm trying not to. Um, I'm trying to stay strong. Just yesterday, I went through two seizures, had blackouts, and I could barely even breathe. And no, I didn't go to the hospital because. Uh, if I would have went, I know I, they would have met me, and then what I have here at the motel, it, there's valuable things I have that was Tammy's, and it would have been stolen. <laughs> Gosh, it would have been stolen. And what? was not valuable, it would have been thrown away. Uh, I still need, need all the help I can get. So please donate on, on uh, the Go fund me and my Facebook page. It's always been said, live your life to the fullest. time or what day something could happen to you like anything can just go wrong in any kind of way 
Don't, don't take life for granted. Cherish your life while you're still alive. Don't do anything stupid that would end your life. <laughs> Like, you know, like uh, daring things. Uh, I know there's a lot of, uh, what do you call it, adrenaline junkies out there. But a lot of them has end up getting killed for what they do. I used to be like that in my um, teens and early 20s. I lived lit for adrenaline, doing things, crazy things. And yeah, it, a lot of things I've done, I got messed up by doing it. And over time, I was like, N no more. <laughs> Can't do no more. Yeah. Broken bones. Get cuts, scrapes, and bruises. A lot of bruises. Like, That's it. Yeah. And I don't want to keep taking that chance. Reminds me of like evil Knievel. And, and he was one of the famous people I really liked. And I kind of wanted to be like him. Except I didn't want to be doing it on a motorcycle. I, I, jump things in a in a car cuz I, I did think about being a daredevil and I've done daredevil things A lot of times I want to do certain things and to be famous for it, but it never happened. And I feel like I did the right thing by not doing any more like things like that. Everyone out there, you be safe. If you have someone in your life, cherish them as well. You know, we all need a shoulder to cry on. Uh, Someone always to talk to when we are down, and I wish I had that in my life right now. I was with Tammy. She turned my life around. She, she helped me through when I get stressed and depressed. I could always talk to her. And it always helped me. She was the only one I ever had to talk with about anything. And now, I'm just, uh, I'm so blank. Oh. 
I'm gonna go now. Try to rest some more. I've, you know, I've been kind of staying isolated and I hate being like this. Just being isolated and just sleep, sleep, sleep. Like there's no tomorrow, but I'm hanging on. Take care, everyone. God bless.